Yeah, all right. Happy New Year and welcome back to Pop a Stash Pop. So, maybe you got a new guitar, you know, you're thinking about learning some tunes. This would be a great place to start. We got easy open position chords, even though we're tuned down a whole step with a capo on the first fret. I don't know, it works for some people, I guess. But they're all open position easy chords. So, if you have a song request of your own, go ahead and click that link below, not the big red click the link below sign, but the link below in the description part, that will get you to the link page where you can drop in your request and I will make sure to get to it as quickly as possible. So let's zoom in for a closer look. All right, so right off the bat with this tune, the guitar is tuned down a whole step. So that means D, you know, G, blah, 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 blah. All the strings are tuned down one whole step and then you have a capo on the first fret. Strange, I know, but that's what they do. So anyways, what we're gonna do is a lot of just basic open chords. You know, we can add little fancy parts to them. Make them sound all purdy and such, right? All chords we've done before. So the first chord is going to start off with an E minor on the top part, and then just pretend you're doing a G on the bottom. So if we're counting one, two, three, four as the frets, E minor would be fingers one and two on the second fret of the A and the D. Now, what I'm going to do with my ring and pinky is I'm going to put those two fingers on the B and E. It's a really nice, pretty sounding, kind of more open than just a normal, typical E minor chord. Now from there, we're just gonna move one finger, and we're gonna move this guy to the second fret, or actually that would be the third fret, sorry, with your second finger. That's what I was trying to get at. <laughs> to kind of a C add nine chord. From there, we're gonna go up to a G. Now you can put this first finger down on the second fret and have a full traditional G. It really doesn't matter. Or you can just put your second finger down, mute out the A string. So, so far we haven't had to move these fingers at all. So we got. Now we can still keep our ring finger where it's at and we're just gonna move to a D. So we take our first and second finger Put them on the second fret of the G and the E, hit from the D down. And that is literally all the chords of the whole song. So let's hear that rhythm. Right, that's literally the verse, the intro, the chorus, blah, 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 right? So that's basically the whole tune. Now, one other thing I, I wanna stress since I could hear myself doing it a little bit, when the guitar is tuned down really low, the tension of the strings is gonna be a lot less. So careful not to overcompensate or to hit too hard because the strings will flap around a lot more. So don't play too hard or the guitar can go out of tune easier. So. Keep that in mind, but anyways. So you can keep it as simple as that. Say you just got a new guitar for Christmas, you're ringing in the new year, learning some tunes, so let's just go. So I'm going down, down, muted, and then down, up, unmuted. What I've done is I'm hitting the root note of each chord. So on the E chord, I'm gonna hit the low E and then hit the whole chord. Then on the C, I'm gonna hit the C, then the whole chord, same with the G, D. Now that'll get us through. 
And what you can also do is a little bit more, you know, strummy version. So I'm doing the, basically the same thing on the first chord. But on the next chord, I'm going up, down, up, down, down. So we go. Now, we're going to do that four times, and on the fourth time when we get back to the C, you're going to hold it for a count of eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's going to separate the verses and the chorus from each other. So if I played a verse all the way through, we got. I just went down, up, down, up, down, up, down, hold, two, three, four. Now when you get to the chorus, same chords, but you can open up the strum a little bit. All right, so I go. Now, there is a bridge, and I'm pretty sure, I'm going off memory here, but I'm pretty sure it's just E, C, D. So we got. is pretty much the tune. Yes, all right, way to go. Very, very good job out there. Again, click that link below if you have a song request of your own. Remember, the song was tuned kind of weird, so down a whole step. That's everything down. E turns to D, A turns to G, blah, 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 blah. So make sure you do that on this tune. You can always play it in standard tuning with the capo on the first fret it's just going to sound a little different that's all that's all you just won't be able to play with the album but as always thank you once again for joining me here at pop a stash pop don't be afraid to tell your friends and post it far and wide that's what we love around here thank you once again catch you next time